One of the most important things you can do for making sense of your data is to first get it sorted, put it in order, because a spreadsheet allows you to do something called data browsing, and it's to actually look at the data that's in front of you. Again, it sounds like a fundamental thing, but it makes a really big difference. Fortunately, this is really easy to do in Google Sheets, and you need to be aware this works a little differently than it does in Microsoft Excel, because when there are gaps in Excel, sometimes things don't sort the way you expect and you can actually terminally mess up the data. But in Google Sheets, it's really easy. Now, what I have is a small data set here with an ID number, then I have a random number, then I got descending and letters and categories and so on. Here's all you have to do to sort. Come here to the top and this little, see, watch how this little arrow shows up. You click on that. And then you can sort A to Z, which means ascending, or Z to A, which is descending. You can actually randomize it too. So now I've sorted it descending based on this random number. If you want to sort it by more than one category, what you need to do is to sort it by the last one until the big one. So for instance, I might want to have this category over here. I can show you how, what it looks like when it's sorted. I've got some fours and some ones. By the way, what it's doing is it's sorting it alphabetically, not in terms of meaning. But let's say I wanted to have these numbers sorted within these categories, the scores. So what I have to do is I have to start with the last one. So I'm going to come to score, and I'm going to sort the sheet in ascending values. And then I come next to category, and I sort it by ascending values. And now within four, I've got my one, two, three, three. And so this way I can have a first sort, a second sort. But again, you have to do it kind of in a backwards method. But anyhow, it's a very quick and easy way to get things under control. Also, one of the reasons I mentioned earlier is that it's really important to have an ID row, a column that gives an ID number, is because it makes it possible to get back your original order. I'm just going to sort this ascending and I'm right back to where I was to begin with.